Hey everyone, this is Desko Maka as Thad Gamer, and this is The Wedding, an RPG Maker horror game. Honestly speaking, I don't know very much about it, so I guess we'll just go straight into it and see what happens. New game. It's kind of quiet though, so I'm going to turn it up a bit. Welcome to The Wedding. Which part would you like to start at? Part 1 or Part 2? Well, obviously Part 1 if I haven't actually played it before, so yeah, hi. Whoa, it's dark. So dark, actually. I wonder where this leads to. Probably to some deep, dark crypt somewhere. Or a wedding, because the game's called a wedding. Me this wait! Come on, Annie, it's not that scary here. Who wants to bet this wedding will turn into a funeral? Bum, bum, bum. Well, I want to go back to the wedding. Okay, okay, we will, but let's just walk through this basement. There has to be an exit at the end of it. Uh, let's just go back. Meet us, wait. And forward. Me just don't run ahead. It's like a big old castle. The door has been sealed shut. Typically a good sign. What? The door won't open. Shiver goes down Annie's spine or Endemon's spine. Looks like I gotta find out. Uh, looks like I have to go find find me this. He's right here. He's about to run off probably. The door is locked. There you are. Come on, there has to be a way out of here. Before we go, I want to look around, though. Midas, I'm scared. Let's go back to the way we came. No way, this place is too cool to leave so soon. Haha, <laughs> don't be so scared all the time, Annie. It's not funny. Stop, I'm leaving. Fine, I'll stay here then. Runs off like a fucking cougar. Oh, anyways, Midas, wait. Wait, where did he go? Well, this area is open. Hmm. What's this lair doing here? Ah, there is a lair over there. Why'd that attract your attention out of everything? Like, not even the giant cobweb with the projector, I think that is. Anima picks up the note. Yep, we have to go and look at it manually. Heat the lock, move the bodies. Well, that's, of course, pleasant. Looks like these handles are painted on. Nothing there. Nothing happens. It seems like it's linked to something. Furnace. There seems to be a little flame inside. Cobweb. You're not going to comment on that. There is no way to open the box. Well, we found out. It seems empty. Search anyway. Anima finds a few lumps of coal and red liquid on the bottom. And it picks up the coal. Alright, put the coal in here, maybe. Item, lumps of coal. The coal lights of the flames and smoke through the pipe. You hear a clicking noise from the corner of the room. Which corner? Oh, there's a door over there, right? The closet's probably opened up. Because that's how logic works. It's probably a door. Looks like these handles are painted on. That wasn't actually it. Was it like hidden inside something? Over here, maybe? In the cobweb? There's no way to open the box. Alright, I'm just gonna listen. Also, sticky red goo. Blood. Ah, that just hit me. Because I'm late to the party on that one, apparently. Maybe this? Something unlocked near the bags. Ah, so I did lock near the bags. And I might hear something unlock. These bags smell really, really bad. Is it you now? And I'll touch the cupboard doors. So they open up to reveal a heavy key. Alright! Progress! Keys and bags and obvious building up of weird things. I wish we were back at the wedding. What an obscure dark building for the wedding to be being had at. Oh, here we go. We have a flashback sign that probably just happened a little bit before this. 
I'm bored. Let's go running around. Emma, no, Midas, we can't. Shh, they are talking. Why are they marrying each other? Because they love each other very much. Now, shh. Whatever, I'm bored. Come exploring with me then. Let's just tell Mummy. Hurry up! I'll save the first file, because it's a file. Oh, here's where I am. Did you tell Mummy? No, not yet. Hurry up then, I'm bored! Time to talk to everybody. I can't reach the person that looks like they're wearing a bathrobe. Can I talk to these two? You going to tell me to sit down, aren't you? Oh, Anima, I don't see you there. Liz, it's time to sit down now. I will soon. Hi, Annie. After this, you and me, this will officially become stepbrother and sister. How's that feel? I don't feel any different. Surely you're very excited of a brother to come to, into your family. Yeah, I guess it's okay. Me, this would be a good brother. Aww. Auntie Elena, sweetie. Hey, sweetie, do you like the Wayne so far? Yes, I do. Me, it doesn't, though. Ha, sounds like me, this. I've gotta go now, bye. Alright, see you soon. Gotta go now, you're sitting there watching the wedding. Just say that you wanna watch the wedding. That's works. These guys have nothing to talk about. How about you up here in the corner? Nothing? Alright. Guess we don't get to talk to anybody else. So that's our final person. Josh, hey, I need you to sit down, okay? Alright, one second. Can't talk to the priest, uh, priest guy. Mom, sit down, honey. Let me ask you something. No, no, Annie, sit down. How much longer till we are done, Uncle Jack? A while, Ama. And Ama, how I? Sigh, so that's way too long. Just sit quiet. Uncle Jack, can I pass, please go for a walk with me this? I don't know, Anima. Please? You need to stay here, alright? You are not allowed to leave the Wayne spot. But... Sorry, Annie, but you are not allowed to go. Ah, girl. Well, I am going to get a drink. I expect you to come back, Annie. I know. Hey, Annie. Is this Uncle Brandon? Oh, Uncle Brandon. Hey, listen for a second, okay? I don't want you to wander off with me this or by yourself, okay? This place should be, could be have dangerous stuff with the forest area, right? To stay at the wedding. Do you hear us at the front? Yes, you two are known to be the loud ones. Thanks, Brandon. Haha, <laughs> I'm just joking, Annie. Make sure you tell me this. Alright, I will now. So basically everyone told us not to go. And we still win anyway, so what idiots are we? Let's enjoy our idiot splendor. Did you tell your mom? I asked her. She said it was okay to go for a walk. We have to come back soon, though. That's fine. We won't be going too far away. Well, Brand said we should be careful, though, okay? Bad stuff could be in the forest. Bad stuff? Cool, let's go! I just totally lied there. Alright, so after some flashes there... Huh? The door is locked. Is it for the key that we obtained? Let's find out. The door unlocks. Ta-da! And I'm, maybe there is another note here. There is, I can see it from here. Why are we looking for notes? Anna picks up Damp's notes. Another note? What does this one say? Fuel the twins, leave the dead. There's a cat here. Is it stuffed? It seems empty. Take the cap and check. Anna looks inside and finds nothing. Bone dry. Anna my cat! Pet the cat. Meow. Just saved. Seems to be completely full. There's a valve on the right side. Alright. It's time to look around. You search the cupboard and find an empty bottle. Alright. I have obtained a birdie. He look weird. Are you asleep, birdie? Poke the birdie. <laughs> oh! What the fuck? I yelled because that's not what I was anticipating. Ryan, the note is damp. Okay, it's damp. It's not by damp. Got it. Why the fuck would poking a birdie make a fucking zombie come out? 
Alright, I got that there. Let's get this. Empty bottle. Item, glass bottle. Nothing there. Whole lot of nothing going through here. And yeah, there's a hole on top of the barrel. What's inside? Anima looks inside. Is that an eyeball? Yes. I'm not looking in there again, because it might look back. Ha cha cha. Nothing in the box. It's locked. It's locked. Evans, it says it needs power. Pick some note, another note. Damp note, read the note. Fuel the twins, leave the dead. Bone dry. Bone dry. Actually, I to use the glass bottle. Is it on this side? You would think I would use the glass bottle. You place the glass bottle in the valve, turning it, fuel pours in the glass bottle, filling it. Alright, pack cat to save there. Alright, which means that we use the glass bottle here, take the cap and check. Which means that we now use the full glass bottle fuel. You empty the bottle of fuel into the tank. The tank has enough fuel to start the power. Which means this thing over here, right? The power seems to be working. And those are cracks all over the place. Sounds like a door has opened. Well, that's progress, right? However, of course, music has kicked in from that. Let's save the cat again. And poke the birdie again. Just for the heck of it. <laughs> Thanks, birdie. Alright, continue from here. Let's go explore some more. Huh, I know. Midas? Midas, stop! You're scaring me too much! This is really mean, and I'm going to tell Mom! That was obviously Midas. Hello? Hmm, another one. Crumble note, item, the four of us unite. Well, we've solved two, I think. That's what you mean. I think it needs its, probably, it needs its own power turned on. All right, and here next. Picked up a clean note. Read the note, yes. To enter our home and open the way. What? Alright, engine starts up. That was difficult. Alright, so that's you, right? It seems like I can fit paper in here. Maybe I should just stick my pages together and put them in here. Okay. It's just such a random thing. Let's take your pages and stick them in there. For what purpose? Hello Kitty, I'm here to say that you again. Alright, let's check out the next page and see what we have to go up from here. The door is locked. Midas, don't be mean. Unlock the door now. Midas? I'm scared. Alright, so... How do I do this? Oh, the note? The note? Hmm... This is a tricky one. What am I supposed to do to put my notes in here? Ha! 
How does one stick their pages together? That's basically the question here. What am I supposed to do is stick my pages together like the game wants me to? Maybe if I look at the glass bottle. No? Write all the notes here. See if any of them will do anything. I don't know. Do you guys have any ideas? How or oh, how does one stick notes together? It's a very simple task, but how does this game want me to do it? Tricky. It's locked. There might be more than four nodes, but I definitely haven't seen another node in the three rooms I can go into. I guess I'll look around a little bit. Okay, I've looked at everything though, at least so far. Cat, do you have a note? Take that as a note. A uh, note? Ha <laughs> ha Alright, hit that. That's locked. The door's already pulled up, the flame is strong, nothing inside the cobwebs. I don't really think the red goo would be it. Oh yeah, okay, I guess that is the right liquid looks like it could stick things together. Fuck, of course it's like that. Alright, let's use the red gooey glass bottle. Yuck, I wonder what this red goo is. Drink. Yes. I can't breathe! My mommy! <laughs> okay, let's do what we're actually supposed to do. Now then, let's take what we can and... Red goo, add to the bottle, go over here and solve a puzzle. Use on the other items. And of course, let's take your red goo all over the notes. Ew! And it drops the glass ball and it smashes on the ground. Oops. Now I can fit all my stacky notes in here. And it pushes his notes into the slit. You hear the door unlock. Let's see what's going on up in here. Listen to the door. Anima hears breathing. Anima hears breathing. If I leave, is it gonna like open up and kill me? No. Well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Met? Mean, it says raining. Let's go back. No way. There could be cool things further up the path. Uh, it's okay if you're scared. I can protect you. I'm not scared. I just don't like the rain. I think I see a house or a shed down the path anyway. A house? It might be scary, though. Let's go anyway. Trust me, it'll be fine. How oh, the fuck do you get to walk fast? Gotta go fast, boy. I just have to walk slow. Here's some roses. Yeah, what is this? Oh, that's blood, not roses. Huh? Huh? Eek! What was that, Minus? What was that? Wait for me! Monsters in the swamp. Hmm? The uncle follows. How do they find this? Save here. Why is it so dark here? I thought I turned the power on. I can hear that breathing again. I... Annie? Midas, where are you? Why is it so dark? Hmm? Hello? You should probably move now. I can't move. Yeah, run! Hey, 
pick up the pace a little bit. Is the statue talking? Uh -huh. Whatever the case, let's try this. I need to run. Alright. Got it, you guys. You're trying to block my way. Ah, he fell for it. Still following. And there was the other guy stepping through there. Shadow was blocking my way, so no, that won't work. Ah, my head hurts! The monster's getting faster, too. That's not it. Hi, dead body. Alright, go through it. It's stuck! Come on, and he's pushing it! Okay, so I see what that is. Maybe, I don't fucking know. Can you get from here? That goes that way. Now we have to do the cutscene. So I need to get to the end first and just start mashing that button so I can get through. Here's when the monster shows up. Oh my. Now that statue fun. <laughs> now he pops up out of nowhere and just walks that way. That opens up. I'm gonna do this as fast as possible. Our head hurts, which means that we have to hurry up. Now smash on this. I made it! Haha, <laughs> to smash that, you probably heard me smashing it. Because that's fun. Emma tries to catch her breath. Mommy, please come and get me. And Emma rubs her eyes. I, I knew Uncle Jack owned a lot of land. I didn't know he had scary monsters on it. <sighs> Uncle Brandon told me there are bad things here. We should have listened. Where is Midas? I need to find him. He would know how to find her parents. We say file there. This doesn't look like there's anything in it. Yeah, won't you will tell me you won't go back down? Okay, you won't even tell me, you just won't. Oh no, not more. I think they are coming for me. My head really hurts. Aha! No, that didn't work. <laughs> okay. Mm hmm. Well, maybe I'm crazy. Like, how the world's going all nightmarish randomly when my head hurts. Maybe I'm, in fact, just insane. Alright, let's see if we can get by this, though. Unfortunately, the zombies get a little bit of head time if I don't, get, like, take the chance immediately. That's one thing about this. The game sort of seems. Ah! Ah! Why do you get faster? That's a bullshit rule. Don't go that way, Sonny, or else the monster will suddenly get faster. For no real reason. Ah, whatever. It's now, no. So we're supposed to go the other way. That monster will charge at me if it gets close to me. Got it. That monster just got dumb. Fuck. Blocked the way, so we're not supposed to get caught by that one. We're supposed to be sneaky snakies. I didn't mean to shut down. <sighs> that was a mistake. A mistake that won't happen twice, though. Alright, that's all good. Continue from here. Alright, so I think I kind of see what we're supposed to be doing. We're supposed to sneak past. We have to sneak past the two monsters. They, in fact, will only start chasing you if they see you directly ahead of them. So they're like dumb AI. See, he doesn't see me, so that's why he's not chasing me right now. I think the same's gonna go with this next monster. They only start chasing you if they see you. Yep, it's exactly that. Made it. Now, deeper into the creek, 
Why does Uncle Jack live in such a scary place? Why are there scary monsters running around here? I don't feel good. Me this, I heard a really loud scary noise. We need to go. I know, I heard it too. I also found the house. Let's hide in here. Then you gotta go through the interesting swamp we were just walking through. That's a shame. I don't know. Is the door locked? I don't think so. Let me just open the door now. Is it open? Hang on. Okay, let's go. This looks small inside. We should be careful here. Remember dangerous stuff? I wonder where this goes. Maybe we should wait for a bit, then go back to Mom and Josh. This is a way out of here, for sure. Let's go. Uh, Mina, stop! I just wanted to investigate. Very sharp axe. Looks very heavy. Not gonna say anything about the tea cow stuff on. This looks fake. I don't like how this looks. Seems like a candle's been burning for a while. Ah, I need to save over the first save file for this one. For a save file limit. The woe of people who like to explore like me. Oh, we're back here? Wait, that was a memory. Are we sure that was a memory? I think I passed out. My head hurts. It feels like my brain is being squeezed. I still need to find Midas. He needs me. Alright. So more encounters of the lost kind. So that was a memory, though. That was a memory, though. These look weird. Something's off. I guess it's up to us to figure it out. Scooby-Doo, where are you? Scooby-Dooby-Doo, where are you? We got some work to do now sort of scenario. This actually sound looks like an axe over there. Let's see if I can actually pick it up. The plant looks like it has teeth. Ew! You pick up the axe for cutting wood. Alright, so that was actually something which I needed. Got it. I see a road in the big house over this river. Let me cross this somehow. Need to cut some wood. Looks like I... It looks like I'm standing on an arrow. Ah, you are standing on an arrow. Looks like I am standing on an arrow. Alright. That wasn't it? Okay. I can actually stand on that wood. Am I supposed to use it on the stump? You know, that doesn't really sound right to me, but okay. What do I know? I'm not the woodcutter here. You? No? This is the direction this way? One of these trees I'm gonna have to cut. <laughs> and when I find that tree, I will cut it. The arrow sounds like the most likely thing, but it doesn't actually seem to be it. Hmm. Nah. Let me just try a kind of tree there. Looks like I am staying on an arrow. This one's getting a bit of a raised eyebrow for me. The most likely thing would be to cut down this tree. But no? Am I supposed to cut down the mushrooms? The fern? Ah! I swear I've tried every tree in here. Maybe it's something behind me. Nope, I can't backtrack. I mean, there's only a certain number of trees around here. You'd think I'd figure something out. Oh, well, I'm going to have to start from the top and let's investigate everywhere. I see a road and a big house over the river. I need to cross this somehow. The axe will be my way. No, that won't be it. I think the arrow's pointing that way. Maybe I'm supposed to just stand here and use this. Maybe that's it. Maybe I can cut this. Okay, so it's, I thought it was pointing up. Okay, but you can't use it when you're inside the log. 
Hell raises the axe and lets the weight of the axe crush the log into two, causing the head of the axe to snap off. What can I do with this? Well, there you go. Answer found inadvertently. I see a road in the big house with a river. I need to cross it somehow. Probably through half a log we got. And I drops the log into the water. Now I can cross. Realistically, I'd expect that to be like flown down river, but whatever. Not gonna question. Wait, I think this is uncle's house. Oh boy. Oh, you remember visiting your uncle all these years through the scary swamp? Ouch! My head and eyes feel like they're beating. What is this place? Where am I? Why would you come here? Hello? Mom? Josh? You cannot leave. Emma's body begins to shake in fear. P -p -p please go away. And up she goes. Why did you have to make it end like this? Why did you have to make it end like this? Uh? I just want my mom. Please don't hurt me. I can't let this happen. Someone please help me. The door behind animal locks. Huh? It's open or unlocks. They all come. Not in time. I don't want to be here anymore. I just want to go home. And I hear some whispering. Honestly speaking, the door probably wouldn't hold against four monsters ramming against it, but whatever. Hello? Please no more. A child. Hello? Another child. Another child? Is that voice talking about Midas? I'm so sorry for not following you, Midas. I will find you. He's probably talking about you, silly. Midas is probably dead. This looks like one of those scary statues from before. The statue has a weird hole in its forehead. Anima looks inside and sees some sort of organic tissue. Huh? What is that? These books feel fake. Some investigations are going to be needed here. Nothing around here, though. A book stands out from the others. Read it. It reads, Today I was searching around the ruins to see if anything escaped. I searched through an old urn and found the totem inside of it. I didn't know what it did until I had to go back downstairs to complete the process again. It seems to interfere with it, weaken it. Strange. All these books are in a different language. Anima. More books that aren't not English. I didn't know Uncle Jack could speak another language. Anima spots something carved on the side of the bookcase. Latin. Anima finds a small ripped up note. There's a big number three on the side of the page. The other side says Quinique. So three Quinique in Latin. One book stands out from the others. Read it, yes. I don't know why I'm reading books. No nibis de monum, ha nibis de monum. And what was the page and skips a few pages. She so turns the page to out Amy. Anima only reads a bit of the page. The whole page has been written in another language, but a section of the page has been circled and translated down to the bottom. She would trade knowledge for the human soul, but now she has other intentions. No one knows what those intentions really are. Uncle Jack, why do you have all these weird books? Time to look around more. These books don't have any writing on it or in it. Anima spots a book that looks somewhat new. She opens it up and sees that it's a diary. Read it? Sure. The top part of the page, uh, the top part of the few pages look like they were torn out accidentally. The rest of the book was kept in a good condition. I find it a little odd that Anima would rather sleep upstairs than downstairs. She said she was brought up in a big house with two levels and slept on the second floor. Perhaps that's the reason why. Either way, I'm glad she prefers the top floor. It allows me to do what I need to be done on the lower levels. She spends most of her time upstairs or outside anyway. Anima skips a few pages. Every time it happens again, I've been noticing some weird stuff happening. It's growing stronger. 
Odd statues and paints have been appearing around the house. It's almost like this world has been mapped out in a different dimension, but with different details. What am I even saying? Complete rubbish. Anna searches through the books and finds a page called Ducentis. At the top, there is number one. Ducentis is one. Quinique is three. Okay, I'm actually write this stuff down. So, Quinique is three. Because there's probably some sort of puzzle of this. And over here, now I'll try to write this down. Ducentis, Ducentis is one. All right. Emma's understanding of these books. Emma traces her finger along the books as she was trying to find something. I don't like reading a lot of books. It makes my head hurt. All right, I have this on the table. Okay, so it says the same thing on both sides of the page. Hmm? What is this for? The page reads, Deadline, 10th of every month. Three to five people are required each time. It is random, so always have five just in case. Younger ones are worth more. I don't get it. Sacrifices, honey. There's also a blood trail over here. This looks like a blood trail. Books have nothing written in them apart from one word repeated through our books. Anima. My name? You're a sacrifice, honey. Get into the fucking program here. <laughs>